Now let's read together, please. Let's go. When the bull had been sacrificed, they brought the boy to Eli. Verse 26. And she said to him, Pardon me, my Lord, as surely as you live, I am the woman who stood here beside you praying to the Lord. 27. I prayed for this child, and the Lord has granted me what I asked of him. Now let's go to verse 26. And she said to him, Pardon me, my Lord, as surely as you live, I am the woman who stood here beside you praying to the Lord. She said, Man of God, don't you remember me? I am the woman that I came here crying last year. But right now, I am different because you cannot sure. recognize me. Help me to give the title of my sermon to your neighbor on your left or right and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. They cannot recognize you. They cannot recognize you. Yes. Turn to the other neighbor and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. It will not be the same forever. It will not be the same forever. Say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Whatever you are going through. Whatever you are going through. It will not be the same forever. It will not be the same forever. You may be seated. There is nothing new under the sun. Let me be very sensitive. Let everybody sit down. Thank you very much. Great. There is nothing new under the sun. I want to ask here, and um, by raising of hands, I want to ask a quick question. If you are here, and as a matter of fact, you have ever seen a Samsung product before, let me see by hand, a Samsung product, whether it's a phone, whether it's a TV, whether it's an air condition, let me see by hand. Have you seen a Samsung product before? Uh, now, some, some company, um, last year, their turnover they made was $196 billion. But unfortunately, when Samsung was started in Korea in the year of 1938, they didn't start by doing Samsung product. Samsung started as a company that was selling dry fish. Look at it right now. Look at it right now. This is original Samsung by selling dry fish. Okay. Now, um, let me see by hand. Uh, anybody here that when phone was starting, you held this phone before? Nokia phone. Nokia. Do you remember 3310? Um, it was started in Finland in the year 1865. And last year, the, the, the turnover they made was $24 billion. But the Nokia, the Nokia phones, put the Nokia phones on the Nokia phone product you see right now. They, they didn't start like that. When they started Nokia, Nokia started as a toilet roll company. Toilet roll, let's go. Toilet roll company. Great. Now, uh, have you seen Colgate? Give me Colgate products right now. Colgate for your teeth. Let me see Colgate right now. Have you seen Colgate before? Do you have some in your house right now? That's right. As a matter of fact, last year, their turnover was $19.45 billion. It was started in America in the year of 1806. But this is the strength thing. Amen. Man of God, sit down. I don't know, sensitive. Great. It was started in the year of 1806. And Colgate didn't start as a Colgate company with teeth. Let me tell you how they started with. Bathing soap. That's right. Hand soap. Look at it right now. Okay. Can I continue? Um, do you know LG, 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 air conditioning, TV, and everything? They didn't start just as LG. They started as a cosmetic company. This is LG product. Let's say when they were a cosmetic company, they were doing cream for body. But they have moved. And right now, their turnover was $64 billion. Now, the one that will really shock you seriously um, it's um, when anybody makes money and after especially young people when they make money and they want to be flashy and they have a lot of money to spare uh, they go and buy a car that is called Lamborghini okay a picture of Lamborghini car look at Lamborghini yeah yeah very very expensive they you have different types of Lamborghini we have Avantador we have Euros we have Lamborghini Countach you have your Lamborghini Huracan but strangely Lamborghini you see right now, wasn't started like this. Tell the person around you, it wasn't started like this. It wasn't started like this. Um, last year, the total number of cars they sold was $2.7 billion. But Lamborghini, to shock you, they started by making tractor. This is, this is, this is the tractor of Lamborghini. 
Listen to me. If these companies have evolved into another dimension, then I don't know about you, the child of God. Yes, Lord. You can start so low, yes, Lord. but don't end so low. Yes, Lord. You can start so small, yes, Lord. but don't end so small. Jesus. That's why when people see your today and they judge you for your today, Jesus. they have made a mistake. Yes, Lord. Because where God is taking me, Jesus. for eyes have not seen, yes, nor ears have heard, yes, Lord. neither have entered into the heart of men. Jesus. What God God has designed for those who love him. Jesus. But God has revealed unto us by his spirit. By spirit. For the spirit of the Lord sets all, all things, even the deep things of, of the God. Lord. Yes, Lord. If Lamborghini can start as a tractor and end as a luxury vehicle, then there is somebody here. Don't remain where you are. Uh, don't remain small. Amen. Don't remain so low. Yes. There no. is something big inside of you. Amen. Tell somebody, think big. Think big. And there's nothing you under the sun. And the Bible said, year after year. First Samuel chapter 1, verse number 3. Year after year, there is a woman and a husband and the other rival that always go to God year after year they were always going for a yearly convention that is called the next level convention and every year they will go over there but when they go over there she will be in pain because the rival was tormenting her what will you do when your pain comes from the place where you're supposed to have solace the man by the name of elkanah the meaning for elkanah is called el someone say el, el. by now i've told you that any, any name you see that begins or ends with l is god l and the word canal simply means crates so Elkanah simply means created by God. And the word Penina simply means a diamond. Hannah means favor. So Penina, by the name of diamond, has children by favor, is never pregnant. What will you do when your name is favor, but you don't look like favor? I can call, be called favor, but I don't look like favor. But so long as I don't look like favor, it's only for a short time. Yes, Lord. Because if my name is favor, favor will locate me. Amen. Jesus. Because if you are diamond and you are laughing at me, and I'm favor and you are laughing at me, hold on for me. Because when I'm favor, I can get diamond plus gold. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, suffer struggles. And she says, this particular year, I will not go back home. But I will remain behind. And the Bible says, while she started praying, she made a vow to God in verse number 11. I came to ask you one question. This next level convention, have you made a vow to God? Or have you just ready? Oh, they have a conference. Okay, a more day. Tell us, next level, there's not easy. Oh my God, but make a vow to God. That God, in this convention, this is what I want to give and this is what I want to see. Enter into a covenant agreement with God and say, God, if you are there by next year, next level convention, let me look back and say, God has done it for me. And after she made this vow to God, the man of God looked at her and said, I'm about to give you a word in verse number 17. And that will be somebody's prayer right here. Verse number 17. Let's all read the verse number 17. Eli answered, Go in peace and may the God of Israel. Grant you what you have asked of him. Today, there is no prophet Eli. There is a Daniel Amwatin. Yes, Lord. He says, may God answer your request. Yes, Lord. Today, I speak from this altar. Jesus. Any request you have given. Jesus. Or any request you are about to give. Yes, Lord. At the next level conference. Jesus. I came to give you good news. Now. Listen, Eli said, may the God of Israel grant you your request. That one is from Eli. Yes, Daniel, I'm watching. I have a different story for you. No. I'm not going to tell you God or grant. Jesus. Daniel, I'm watching. Says Jesus. your heart desires are granted. Amen. They are granted in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. God is not going to grant. It has been granted. Yes, receive Lord. the granting of your heart desire. I receive it. Now, her desires are being granted. And the Bible says, when the word of God is given, the her desires are granted. Look at the scenario, what happened. Now, the word has been given to her. God is going to remember you. Verse number 18. Look at something from verse number 18. The Bible says, she said, if you if if said, you're, may your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way and asked something. And her face 
was no longer downcast. Jesus. It means before the word came on her, her face was downcast. Downcast simply means her face was miserable. Jesus. Her face looks sad. Jesus. Sound of God, it has gotten to a time to, to forget, forget about the pain. Yes, Although you are in pain, don't behave as a painful person. Jesus. Because your story can change overnight. Amen. So when the word of God was given to her, sister, come for a scenario. Sister, come right now. When the word of God was given to her, now the man of God says, your hard desires are granted. She had the word on her. The Bible says, young lady come. The Bible says, I want to give you, show you a picture. The Bible says, come, come. The Bible says, and she went her way and found something to eat. That is the word. Now, go to 18. We are going to a process. 8, 19. Early the next morning, she rose up and she worshipped. Okay? So, sister, come. Come. Early the morning, stand over here. She rose up and she did what? Worshipped. She worshipped. I have a problem. She has received a word. She is not yet pregnant, but she is worshipping. Hey. Testimony City, hear it very well. She only has a word. She went to eat. She is worshipping. Don't wait for your breakthrough before you worship. Amen. Worship before your breakthrough. Amen. Because worship prepares the ground for your... Yes, Lord. Do you have a worshiper in the house? Yes, Lord. Every day you are complaining. My life is not well. Only me, 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 No. Instead of complaining, praise him. Yes. Father Daniel, what is simply worship? Let, let me tell you what, what worship. The difference between praise and worship. Can I explain to you? Yeah. You know, in December, when we are doing the annual Thanksgiving, I will teach about praise and worship. Praise is thanking God for what he has done. And worship is thanking God for who he is. Okay, let me explain. Praise is thanking God for what he has done. Yes. So when God gives me a car, God, I thank you for car. I've seen it already. Yeah. By worship is God, I'm thanking you that you are still God. So although I've not seen it, you are still God. Yes. Although I'm sick, you are yes. still God. Yes, although Lord. the opportunity has not come, you are still God. Yes, although the visa has not come, I'm still God. Yes, although Lord. they refuse me for the visa, yes, you are Lord. still God. Yes, so Lord. a worshiper is dangerous than a praiser. Yes, Lord. Let me explain. Let, let me explain something to you. Let me explain. So God is always looking for worshipers. Yes, but for praisers, there are plenty. Listen to me. When I buy you a car now, you can come to me and say thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if I have not bought your car and you come to me and say, Daniel, thank you for the car you are about to buy. Ah. It's only few people that can do that. So the Bible says the Father is looking for true worshippers. The Father is looking for true worshippers. If God is looking for worshippers, it means they are scarce. I said, if God is looking for worshippers, it means there are not plenty. Yes, I think it's in John chapter 4, verse number 23, 24, 25. Let's go. Wow. I want to show you something there. This one is not part of my sermon. I just make a detour. Because prophet, that's how we preach. Prophet preach on every subject. Yet a time is coming. And the time has come. Where the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. Six. So God is looking for worshippers. But hear me. Everybody is a praiser. The Bible says, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. So anybody that is breathing can praise God. Because trees are always breathing out oxygen and breathing in carbon dioxide. Trees begin to worship. Begin to praise God. So anytime the trees are moving their leaves, it means they are, they are praising God. Psalm 150 verse 6. Person, person. Let me just take you somewhere. I like the work of God, the word of God. How many people enjoy the word of God in this house? Let, let's all read together. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Pause it. So anybody can praise, but few can worship. Yes, sir. So your name is Hannah. You are not pregnant and you are worshiping. Now, anytime you worship God, you put him in a tight corner. Because now, see has received a word. She is not pregnant and she has worshipped now. So now, I, God, I owe her yes, because yes, she has already paid the thing in advance, yes, but the product has not been given. Hey. It's like 
somebody come to your shop, you sell yam. And there was a long queue. And because the person was busy, the person took 300 CDs and put it there and said that, it's for my yam, I'm going. Whether you like it or not, you have to find a way to provide the yam. Because they've already paid it off. So my worship is my advance payment yes, for sir. my breakthrough, for yes, my tomorrow. Sir. So when I wake up in the morning and I say, God, I thank you for 31st December. It simply means automatically, God has to make sure yes, I see 31st yes, December. Sir. Yes, Lord. When the marriage has not come, you say, God, I thank you for the marriage. Automatically, yes, God has to bring it. Worship. I don't know about you. Worship. Can you worship it in advance? Yes, Lord. You ought to worship it in advance. Shout, I'm a worshiper. I'm a worshiper. Sit down. Let me, let me show you something about worshiper. Now, when you are also a worshiper, you get something serious. And the place you get to sit, it is in the chair Lucifer used to sit inside. Because Lucifer was the one in charge of worship in heaven. And when God became angry, God moved him out of that place. So now, Lucifer's seat is empty. So anytime I worship God, that seat, I sit on it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, I can't feel, I yes, can't feel you. Yes, Lord. Because when Lucifer was brought down, there is no one who came to sit inside. So anytime I worship, I sit in that chair. And mind you, Lucifer in heaven was not evil. Some of you are thinking, hey, Lucifer's chair, man. Lucifer's chair, man. He's only evil here. But there, he was the head of the worshippers in heaven. When they, they bring worship to God, he is the final one who carried it and used to give to God. That's why when he was carrying to God one day, he said, ah, all this worship to this man, then let me take. That's how his mind changed. Anytime you are great, you are close to great people, be very careful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you might end up thinking you are like them. But greatness takes time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me go back. Let me go back. My God. So she received a word. She stopped crying. She worshiped. Now let's see the same 19. The Bible says, then the husband come. Then the husband made love to her. Yeah. Now, when the husband made love to her, the Bible says he said, come. And the Lord, now this is the revelation. The Lord remembered her. My God. Verse 20. Verse 20. That in the course of time, she became pregnant. Doctor, come. She became pregnant. I'm about to show you a secret. She became pregnant. Then after she became pregnant, the Bible says, and she gave birth. She gave birth. Hear me right now. To a boy. So see the scenario. She received a word. She started eating and started stopping being sad. She worshipped. The husband slept with her. God remembered her. Now you stand here. Perfect. God remembered her. She became pregnant and she had the baby. So when your husband sleeps with you, it doesn't bring pregnancy. When your husband sleeps with you, what has to bring the pregnancy is God remembering you. Because many people has slept with their wives and the pre yes, and Lord. the pregnancy yes, Lord. did not happen. Yes, sir. But what brings the pregnancy is the Lord remembering. Yes, Lord. So when I apply for visa, it doesn't bring visa. When I apply for visa, Jesus. God has to now remember. Remember. Now, when God remembers me and I become pregnant. The pregnancy is not the final. When I'm pregnant, it doesn't mean I'll have a child. Because somebody becomes pregnant and miscarries. So when I get pregnant, I'm not supposed to end there. I'm supposed to stop miscarriage so that my baby boy will appear. Any miscarriage against you. Jesus. In this, Pastor Daniel, what is miscarriage? Miscarriage is 
stopping what is supposed to come. Number two, miscarriage is the ability not to see the end of your labor. Because when a lady is pregnant, she's in labor. She's pregnant. But when she miscarries, she doesn't see the fruit of her labor. So, miscarriage is not for a woman. Miscarriage can be for a man. Yes, sir. When a man puts in the effort and still nothing to show forth, it is miscarriage. My God. Ah. When a child goes to school and learns and yes, still, the child could not pass and graduate. It is called miscarriage. When you buy a land to build a property and when you start your foundation, other people come and say the land is for them and you have to be in court for seven years. Jesus. It is miscarriage. So don't end at pregnancy. End at the baby boy. Mm. And the Bible says, and in the process of time, she had a baby. And the name of the boy was called Samuel. And she said, because I asked him of the Lord. So in the time she sees Samuel, Samuel is the evidence of the prayers. Now, let me give another revelation. Can I give to you? Yes, sir. Now that we know this secret, when I'm there and you see my baby boy, and you are jealous of my baby boy, you can't stop it. Because my baby boy, before I had it, I've gone through a process. Jesus. Jesus. So, when your breakthrough comes, and they're angry with you, and they want to stop you, forget them. Because I don't just didn't get here. No, I didn't just get here. I have gone through all this. Yes, so sir. if you want to stop my baby boy, hey. then go and stop the word of God on me. Jesus. Go and stop God remembering me. Jesus. Go and stop my... Oh my, my God. God. When they saw you in that nice car, they thought that, that, that was your how you started. No. You have been through a lot. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. But all of them begin with a word. Some say a word. a word. Now, a word is not Pastor Daniel coming to you to say that I see this, I see this. It's nice, it's part. But the word is what I speak from this altar. When I release a word from this altar, it causes you to carry something. One of God, do you know the reason why Jesus, when they were in the boat and the storms were coming, he was still joking in the boat? Do you know the reason? And the disciples said, Carry us thou not that we perish. They were trying to say that you don't care that we perish. Yes, do you know the reason? Because Jesus, can I tell the reason why? He didn't care. Because Jesus, before he came to this world, he knew that he's supposed to die on the cross. Wow. And after three days, he will rise up. So his death is not in the sea. So although I'm dying in the sea, I'm still undiable. Because I'm not supposed to die. Yes, Lord. So Jesus, from day one, he knew he's supposed to die on the cross. So although he sees the sea and the storm coming, he said, me, I don't care. Because the word on my head simply means I will die on the cross, on the mountain. If I will die on the cross, on the mountain, called Mount Calvary, in a place called Golgotha, why should I die in a sea? Somebody, you belong to the mountain. Yes, you don't belong to the dam. Yes, Lord. Say my neighbor. My neighbor. I carry a word. I carry a word. I carry a word. I carry a word. Listen, Jesus said this for many times. One day he said, as you have seen this temple, I will break it down. But in three days, I will build it. He was talking about the cross. He says, as Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days, so the son of man be in the, in the heart of the earth. And after three days, he will come out. So he knew he would die on the cross and rise up on the teddy. Tell somebody, I have a word. I have a word. Sit down. When you know where you are going, they can't stop you. Now in my last five minutes, I'm about to tell you something. So Pastor Daniel, I have a question. What's the question? Why did God delay Hannah? before getting somewhere. Can I tell the reason? Because God wanted to raise somebody great that, not, that has never appeared in the nation before. Before somebody great appears, it takes time. Jesus. Jesus. 
If your name is called Maze or Kong, when we put you on the ground, six months we will see you. But after one year, you will go. But when your name is called Coconut, it will take you many years to appear. But when you appear, after 10 years, we will still see you. Yes. If your name is called Kong, My God. six months you will appear, one yes. year will not see you. But when your name is called Coco, Jesus. You shall be there for 30 years. Yes, Lord. So sometimes my delay is because I'm a coco. Hey. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Shout, I'm a coco. I'm a coco. So listen to me. That's why in destiny, don't compare yourself to anybody. We can look the same, but hear me right now. We don't taste the same. Yes. yes. But then you explain. When you get a plantain, and the plantain is ripe, and you get banana, that is also right. They look the same, but the taste. Yes. Yes, now. As, as the person say, my neighbor. My neighbor. Are you a plantain? Are you a plantain? Or banana? Or banana? Oh no, God! For the plantain, you need to cook it before you eat it. But for the banana, no cooking. Some of us, we are the banana. Anywhere we go, we just shine. No cooking, no cooking, no cooking. Anywhere we go, we just shine. We don't have to be cooked. God has to show up. Now, let me give you this in my last five minutes. So the Bible says this someone that was born, the whole Israel, nobody has ever come that when he speaks, it begins to come to pass. First Samuel chapter 3, verse 19. Let's all read together. The Lord was with Samuel as he grew up, uh -huh. and he let none of Samuel's word fall to the ground. Listen to me. And everybody, because of this power, None of his word was able to fall down. Number two, because God made him great, the Bible says in his lifetime, some demons that invested them again. Now, the people of Israel, their greatest enemies are called the Philistines. The Philistines. The Philistines. I come to you. The Philistines. Pastor Daniel, what are the Philistines? Number one, it is the Philistines who tormented Samson. Samson, the champion that fell down Delilah. Philistines. David and Goliath. Goliath was a Philistine. So, the Philistines are their permanent enemies. Yeah. But it's only in the lifetime of Samuel. Jesus. Hey. When Samuel was born, hey. all the Philistines ran away. Hey. Ah. First Samuel chapter 7 verse 13. Everybody read it. Let's go. So the Philistines were subdued. Uh -huh. And they stopped invading Israel's territory. Uh -huh. Throughout Samuel's lifetime. Jesus. The hand of the Lord was against the Philistines. Somebody hear me. In your lifetime. Jesus. I said in your lifetime. Yes, Lord. In that situation that you came to meet in the family. My God. It is stopping in your lifetime. Amen. Come and cut the altar. Yes, Lord. And declare my lifetime. My lifetime. My lifetime. My lifetime. Whatever was pain. Oh, yes, Lord. Whatever was shame. Yes, Lord. It is stopping. Yes, Lord. In your lifetime. In my lifetime. Shout in my lifetime. In my lifetime. Say in my lifetime. In my lifetime. In my lifetime. In my lifetime. You are in my to, lifetime. You are about to rise up. Yes, Lord. And you are about to turn into the family. Yes, Lord. And say in my lifetime. In my lifetime. Things will begin to work. Yes, Lord. God will show up. Yes, Lord. In my lifetime. 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 Pain will not stay. Yes, Lord. That sickness you came to meet, Jesus, in that family, Jesus, in your lifetime in, it has been broken. Amen. Shout in my lifetime. In my lifetime. Shout in my lifetime. In my lifetime. Say the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is shining on my behalf. It's shining on, on my behalf. behalf. In my lifetime. In my lifetime. So the reason why someone was delayed to come. Was because he was about to stop something in a lifetime. Now let me give you this last thing. Can I give to you? In my lifetime. There's another person in the Bible too that in his lifetime, he made sure that nobody would suffer in poverty. In the days of Solomon, he said in his lifetime, everybody in Israel will have their own house. So in the regime, in the regime, in the regime, hold on, help me, help me, help me. Today is Sunday, my spirit is okay, don't be careful. Yeah, you can take it back there. This is Sunday, I, I have a good mood, okay. And this is test service, I know I'm about to close the service. There's no pressure on me. Now hear me right now. Solomon, in his lifetime, 
he made sure that everybody owned their own house. In the regime, in the government of Solomon, it's not MPP, it's not NDC, it's not New Force, it's not New Movement, it's not Afra Franto. But in Solomon's government, he made sure that everybody will own their house. First Kings chapter 4, verse 25, in his lifetime. NLT, let's all go. Let's go. During the lifetime of Solomon, uh -huh. all of Judah and Israel lived in peace and safety. Listen, in his lifetime, there was peace. Continue. And from Dan in the north uh -huh. to Bathsheba in the south, yes. each family had its own home and a garden. I yes, can end Lord. it right there. You are about to own your own home. Amen. Own your own house. Yes, Amen. Lord. I receive it. But Paul of worship, hear me right now. Whoever thought the Samsung they started by selling groceries and selling dry fish today will have billions. The Lamborghini that was in the farm, tractor, prum, 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 prum. Today, it will be a car for only few people. Sony doing rice cooker. Today, every video camera you can ever find. See the video cameras? It's supposed to be Sony. Look at the video camera prices. This even 4K, 49,000. The phone, 68,000. They started little. Child of God, don't let how you start stop your future. Amen. Think big. Yes, Lord. There is something big coming for you. Amen. The Testimony City, we started with only eight members. After being landing, the Lord said, Daniel, there is something for Ghana. We do in Ghana. We started with eight members. And look at how God has taken us. Let's see what we started with the eight members. This is me. My suit was sweating. But look at now. Look at now. Child of God, dream big. Dream big. Prophet Brian went to Dallas, Texas. He bought a property to do church inside. Not renting by. He called me and said, Prophet, the renovation of the whole thing is expensive. I have to even send money to sow seed into the ministry. And today he is launching that church. Today, as I'm talking, they're launching it now. Let's see the video. It's a whole large property outside and everywhere. Look at this. Dr. Mark, my senior brother, he'll be here in December to come and bless us. He moved from Chicago to Houston, Texas. He's a prophet. God told me to start ministry. He told my father, my father said, after finishing all the medical school, he said, no, God has told me. Started doing ministry with just few people. God has opened door. They just bought 4.5 acres of land in Houston, Texas about to build a church for God. Look at it right now. Pastor, I used to leave you when there to anoint the place for them. Look at it right now. I just want you to know that you can start from Ghana, but you can be global. God is raising a new generation. So when you meet people in the center, and Pastor Chop money, and Pastor Chop, ask them which of the money has a Pastor Chop. What we are doing for the kingdom, you have no idea. How many young people will make money and say, I'm using the money to buy land in America to build a church. And can you not come and buy in Ghana? But what you build for God becomes permanent. Child of God, this cathedral you are building, open your heart. Say to yourself that I will be a major player inside. This is in Houston. It's just by the freeway. 4.5 acres. Whatever you do for God, never go wasted. Look at it. Look at the land. That's Pastor I used to. When they with oil. That's Dr. Mark. He'll be here in December as well to bless us. Just for one day. He's the one that the young girl, he gave a prophecy to the young girl that has gone to America who met the white man at the mall and said the white man will marry the lady.
And, 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 and hear me right now. Hear me right now. Because we have said to God that Father, as we have called these four brothers, we want to leave something behind for the world to know you call the four brothers. What you build for God. The pastors will tell you everything about my life is about the kingdom. My former language I used to use, I think last week. When they sold it, the next level conference, sound and everything that they are supposed to give and everything, gave them deposit to do the sound and everything. Out of that money, Pastor Fred was there. That was Thursday. I said, I said, I said, no, I'll, I'll not wait for people to bring seed and pledges and everything. I said, the, the car that they sold, take some of the money. Let's go and pay the people. Total cost for the whole distance outside is 219. I said, let's just take 130 to do the first deposit for them. And we give to them. I've sold the car. I can use to buy another one, right? But I said, no. When thousands come and receive blessings, and they say, Jesus, 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 and God blesses them, God will remember me too. <laughs> the reason why, when I, some people ask me, Prof. Daniel, so when you break people's demons and family demons and you break, why don't they come and attack you? I said, because I have a covenant. I've sown some seeds and those sacrifices will protect me. Yes, so that's yes, why we Lord. break attack from your family and I'm not afraid. Yes, Lord. So when they bring the arrow, I said, let the arrow come. Let my sacrifice speak for me. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Be on your feet. Amen. It will not remain the same Amen. forever. Amen. I am that woman who was crying the last time. And God has changed my story. Do you know something? The high priest could not locate the woman. Because now, you don't remember me? I am that lady that was crying. Very soon. You're about to drive to your old neighborhood. Jesus. And you call some child around. What, what are you doing here? They say, who are you? Say, oh, one kind of me. I am that woman. I am that woman. I am that man. You're about to go back there again. Those who told you, who are you? They will tell you, how are you? Lift up your right hand. Say, let the altar. Let the altar. Activate. Activate. My newness of life. My newness of life. Now. Now. In my lifetime. In my lifetime. I change the course. I change the course. Of my family. Of my family. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands. Clap your hands.